Hey guys, welcome to, I'm going to say, my first video. Um, if you guys have noticed, um, I erased like all of, mostly all of my videos except my shorts um, because I just kind of wanted to, if I'm going to do this, just kind of start where I'm at right now. Um, I feel like I was just all over the place in previous videos and I kind of just wanted this video to just be an update um, and just going from there. So if you're new here, my name is Cornelia um, and thank you for subscribing. If you're still my fellow followers, thank you for staying. I know that it's been a while since I uh, recorded a video, so I don't know, I kind of feel like I want to do like a diary because I'm in a space right now uh, with a lot of changes and transitions um, so I kind of just wanted to capture it however whenever um, excuse my twist out it's been a couple days I just sprayed some water on it to revive it and yeah so don't judge me um, but so just a little update on what's been going on with me um, if you guys have been following or watched any previous videos, you know that um, I was working for a call center for a small bank here in Florida. Um, I currently resigned about a month ago um, from the job um, due to the fact of um, my boss, not employees only, but my boss. Uh, it was getting to a point, guys, of um, like targeting uh, me. Uh, every time something occurred, it was, okay, Cornelia, we're gonna bring you in, but don't worry, we're also gonna talk to the rest of the staff about this as well, because we know that you learned it from them, um, so don't feel like it's just you. And the first time that a situation happened there, I was like, okay, you know, gave them the benefit of the doubt, was like, okay, you know, I understand what I did wrong, learned from it, you know, and was told, like, we're going to speak to all of the staff because, like, the OG staff is the people that taught you, so obviously they're not teaching you something right. Um, so we obviously have to t train everybody else, you know what I'm saying? And that was told to me twice um, because two incidents had happened nothing crazy but just like small things but the other staff was never talked to um, and then me and her just kind of had a professional blowout <laughs> is, what, is what I'll call it and I just was couldn't do it anymore um, so I had to walk away I know a lot of people are probably like you know it's so hard to find a job um, you know that whole story and stuff like that um, but it's just a different time now um, there's a certain amount of respect I think because I'm older as well um, my most longevity job was when I was like 18 and I stayed at that job for like five years and it was just a different time you know you enjoyed working at your jobs you enjoyed your employees your bosses and stuff like that um, you you wanted to put that extra work in you know what I'm saying guys um, to really show that company or what have you that you loved what you did and it was also reciprocated at that time too you know where you got rewards or bonuses and stuff like that and now it's just a different time like even your bosses will try to throw you under the bus or try to target to get you out because they see you as a threat as well. Um, that was something too that I wanted to move to a different department. This particular bank, um, you didn't have to be there a certain amount of time to move forward. And I just wanted to go into a different department and I was you know, blocked by her also from doing that. Um, and you know, at first I looked at it as, you know, she kind of wanted me to just stay because she could see me grow. But then when these incidents started happening and it was like, you know, things that c didn't really need to be discussed as well, um, I just felt like it was just 
not for me. Um, I'm a very people person, like the call center atmosphere is something that I know that I'm good at now. But at the same time, you know, it's all about, you know, your bosses and who you look up to and who you're doing it for. And um, it just didn't work out. And then just with the employees as well, there were incidents. I had did videos, um, you know, just the bullying. Um, people just seeing what you bring to the table and they're intimidated by you. Um, so it just wasn't a good atmosphere for me. So I had to leave. So no, I'm currently not working right now. Um, this is just a time for something else that I'll talk about that I'm doing for myself. Um, another update is I had shut down all my social media. So currently, the only social media that I have is YouTube. So um, I want to just start by thanking everybody that was followers and supporters. I think I had reached like a little over a thousand followers within a month of having my TikTok. And um, that was like a big accomplishment for me. But um, you know, social media for me was just getting to become a lot. Um, it started turning into, uh, you know, feeling like you wanted to be like everybody else or it was a competitiveness. I'm not going to lie. Um, when you have a business or you're involved in the social media influencer atmosphere, it's a competition every day to uh, put out, you know, content and um you know, just keep the numbers, the gaining, the algorithm. Um, it, it was just too much for me. Um, so I decided to just deactivate uh, Facebook and Instagrams and um, TikTok. Uh, it was it was just taking a physical toll on me mentally. Um, and I just had to walk away, which is also in point of me dissolving my business uh, with Black Pride Candles. As you see, I still do have a lot of um, product left. Uh, not really sure like where or what I'm gonna do with it, um, but the website is still up currently, I think. Um, I'm not sure if it's gonna shut down the end of this month, like today, or if it's gonna shut down the end of June. Um, I forgot, because I was paying like month to month to keep my website open. So yeah, I know like to some people it's like, oh, you know, you're like coming off like a failure. You know, the love just wasn't there anymore. Um, it, it just turned into this, uh, like a job. It, it wasn't fun. It, it turned into um, having to figure out content, having to create, uh, not getting sales. Um, you know, the email marketing. And when you're doing everything by yourself, it just turns into this, uh, you know, debacle of just constant. Um, I know what I did take away from it is that I know that I could do it. I do know that if I ever opened up a business, like I would have to be in a good financial standing to um, have a team because it's not easy. Um, and I felt like I did my best. I felt like I was creative enough, um, you know, during the time with it, but it just wasn't there for me anymore. Um, so yeah, just a lot of, uh, shutting down, so to speak for me and just coming to a place now, just getting closer to God, uh, I've been going to church online and I've also been um, reading the Bible, but reading it and understanding it more for me. I forgot to bring the book in here, guys, um, but I ordered this book. This girl I had found on TikTok before I had deleted my TikTok, she actually made a book where you can take notes and she helps you understand the Bible from like a more understanding perspective because it is hard to read. I'm not going to lie, like I'm 36 and uh, I've read the Bible, but it's it was never like super clear, you know, so I was able to find that. Um, I ordered myself that and that's just kind of where I'm at now. I'm just trying to stay at peace. Uh, I was very sick um, like a week or so ago. So, you know, just trying to keep my health together and just kind of you know trying to get back to 
me, um, a happy place, uh, people that really know me, like I was always like the happy, you know, wanting to do stuff. Now, like I barely want to go outside, guys. It's, it just turns into this whole like, you know, I don't know. I, it's just a lot going on in the world. Um, you know, it just feels like that heavy weight, um, like it did in the beginning with COVID. Um, you just felt like helpless. So I'm doing okay. You know, every day is different, but I kind of just wanted to update you guys. I don't really know like how I'm, what I'm going to film when, um, I've been just uploading shorts, but I kind of just wanted to throw out what's been going on. And if you're going through anything like me, um, it is okay. Uh, you know, it's going to be okay. That's what I tell myself every day. Um, sorry, cause I forgot to light my, um, sage today, but yeah, it's, it's going to be okay. You know, we all are going through things. Life is not, you know, perfect for anybody. Um, you know, you just have to pray and just keep your mind healthy, um, and positive. You know what I'm saying? Because it's, it's a cruel world out here. Um, you know, just being, home and being able to like be in moments and stuff like that um has really um been I've been seeing things like you know people going crazy and prepping um you know for their life for all this stuff that's going on in the world and you you know I understand I try to be open and um understanding to everybody and everything around me but that's just the thing I'm trying to just be in the moment with everything so um and I know that things will turn around yeah sometimes I feel like God just stops you for a second to let you know like hey you know you might need a break a pause so I think this is my pause um I plan on doing something next month during this pause moment um so I'm hoping that it works out and yeah I just uh, hope that you guys are all doing well um, I hope that you guys watch the whole video. Um, if you're new here, you can, sh uh, you know, just subscribe and stay tuned. Um, like I said, I don't really know what I'm going to film. I'm kind of just winging it. I'm not one of those uh, people on here that is like for the paycheck, the highest influencer numbers. That stuff starts making it just tacky to me. It, it goofy. <laughs> I just, I can't. I'm just going to film whatever I want, how I want. And that's pretty much it so um, if you made it to the end of the video I appreciate you um, if you leave a comment uh, I will have a surprise for you but you have to leave a comment and know that comment on something that you heard in the video I want to do a little spontaneous little thing um, if people actually do that and um, yeah just comment like subscribe share all that YouTube stuff and sage your life but yeah we're gonna do like a diary i guess or just like an episode one two three you know forever ever ever and just like i'll keep you guys in tune with things that are going on if i do anything fun i'll try to film it um but yeah i'm not one of those fancy youtubers i'm on my phone your girl don't got the camera and all that stuff so yeah so yes yeah, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I miss filming because I do enjoy it. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.